I really like using impact drivers instead of impact wrenches because they're a lot lighter, especially on smaller fasteners. But if you're gonna do this, especially with the socket, you're gonna need an impact adapter if that's up to the task. Today we have about 18 different brands to test, so let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll measure how much torque each brand can handle. We'll see if impact rated adapters perform better than ones that are not rated for impact. We'll also find out if adapters with shock absorbing zones like the Makita and the Milwaukee can outperform those with a hex shaft like the DeWalt and the Irwin. Finally, we'll see how much impact each adapter can handle before it breaks. At a price of only $3 for the entire kit, the Torxmith brand is by far the least expensive brand we'll be testing. The socket adapters are made of chrome vanadium. This Torxmith brand is made in China. Torxmith brand is not designed to be used with impact tools. In the first test, I'll be using a digital torque adapter to measure the amount of torque each brand of impact driver can handle. I'll also be using a half inch to hex adapter to lock each adapter into the proper position. I'll test a quarter inch adapters for each brand first. At only $1, the Torxmith brand looks to be fairly well built for a tool that costs 85% less than the most expensive brand. Wow, 816 inch pounds, very impressive for a low price tool. And the Torxmith, even though it's not impact rated, did not seem to be too brittle at all and experienced a lot of twisting before it finally snapped. At a price of only $4.28 is this HyperTuff brand, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing. Just like the Torxmith brand, the HyperTuff brand is not designed to be used with impact tools. Chrome vanadium steel, made in China. Torxmith put up a really impressive number of 816 inch pounds. Let's see if the HyperTuff can beat it. 717 inch pounds for the HyperTuff, which is 99 inch pounds less than the Torxmith. Just like the Torxmith, the HyperTuff twisted quite a bit before it finally broke. In a previous video on step bits, the Timo brand did extremely well, so I thought we would test out their socket adapters. At a price of only $1.45 per adapter, the Timo brand is the third least expensive brand we'll be testing. The Timo brand is impact rated. I couldn't find any information available on where the brand is made. The Torxmith is still in the lead at 816 inch pounds. And the Timo brand moved into the lead with 825 inch pounds. At a price of $5.99 for this four-piece kit, or just $1.50 each for just the socket adapters, is this Nico brand. Chrome vanadium steel, used with power drivers and drills. The Nico brand is designed for use with impact drivers. The Nico brand is made in Taiwan. The Timo brand is the brand to beat at 825 inch pounds. And the Nico socket adapter broke at 666 inch pounds, which is quite a bit lower than the other brands tested up to this point. If you shop at Walmart, you might be very interested to see how the Hart brand performs. At $4.88, this Hart brand is very competitively priced for an impact rated socket adapter set. Made in China. And the Hart brand snapped at only 454 inch pounds, which is by far the lowest of all the brands tested yet. Instead of twisting, the narrow area of the shaft, which is supposed to absorb the shock of the impact driver, broke. At $4.88 or $1.63 per adapter is this Performax brand. Now it's the same price as the Hart brand. It'll be interesting to see if it can perform just as well. The Performax brand is sold at Menards, made in China. And the Timo brand is still in the lead at 825 inch pounds. And a Performance brand actually did a decent job at 772 inch pounds, but that's not enough to take the lead. At $4.97 or $1.66 each is this Ryobi impact rated socket adapter set. Made in Indonesia. The Ryobi brand, just like the Hart brand, has a narrow shock absorbent zone. Let's see if it can do any better. At 490 inch pounds, the Ryobi just didn't do very well compared to the competition. Just like the Hart brand, the adapter broke in the narrow area of the adapter. If you shop at Harbor Freight, you're probably very familiar with the Warrior brand. This three-piece kit costs $4.99 or $1.66 per piece. Heat treated chrome vanadium construction. The packaging does not indicate that these adapters are designed for use with impact tools. Made in China. The Timo brand is still in the lead at 825 and the Torque Master is in second at 817. And the Harbor Freight Warrior broke at 770 inch pounds, which is actually a pretty good performance. At a price of $2 per socket adapter is this Irwin brand. The Irwin brand is designed for use with impact tools, made in China. So can the Irwin beat 825 inch pounds and move into the lead over Timo? 749 inch pounds is actually a decent performance, but not enough to move into the lead. The Bauer brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight, costs $6.99 or $2.33 each. Heavy duty guaranteed. Premium alloy construction. Made in Taiwan. Instead of using a hex shaft, the Bauer uses a narrow round design. 604 inch pounds is well short of the 825 with the Timo. 
Costing $7.99 or $2.66 per adapter is this ARES socket adapter set. Made in Taiwan. Heat treated chrome vanadium steel construction designed for impact use. The ARES uses a hex shaft design which seems to be doing better in this showdown than the adapters with the shock absorbent zones. 760 inch pounds for the ARES which seems to be about the average. We'll be testing two sets of impact adapters made by Makita. The first set costs the same amount as the ARES brand at $7.99 or $2.66 each. Impact X. Makita is made in Taiwan. The Makita has the narrow shock absorbent zone like the Hart, Ryobi, and Bauer. 741 inch-pounds is well short of the 825 needed to take the lead, but 741 is a solid performance. The same price as the ARES and the Makita brand is this Hercules brand at $7.99 or $2.66 per adapter. Torque point, maximum strength, shock absorbent zone. Impact rated, professionally made in Taiwan for Hercules tools. The Hercules looks nearly identical to the Bauer and uses the narrow round shock absorbent shaft design. 652 is better than the Bauer 604 but still below average overall. At a price of $9.99 is this Milwaukee brand, up to 30 times life. Shockwave, impact duty. Custom A76 steel maximizes resistance to wear and shock. Professionally made in China for Milwaukee tool. The Milwaukee Shockwave also uses a narrow round shock absorbent zone. 689 is quite a bit short of the leader's 825. At $3.97 per adapter, the Master Force brand is the fourth most expensive brand we'll be testing. Impact Rugged, made in China, sold at Menards. The Master Force uses a hex shaft design. 754 inch pounds is a decent performance, but still not enough to take the lead from Timo. At $4.58, the third most expensive brand we'll be testing is this Makita Gold. Tilts 15 degrees. Made in Japan. Makita Gold looks extremely well built and uses a hex shaft design. Wow, 951 inch pounds puts the Makita Gold 126 inch pounds ahead of Timo. Very impressive. The second most expensive brand, costing $4.63 each, is made by DeWalt. Impact ready. Rapid load. The DeWalt indicates that you can use their adapter with any impact driver that delivers up to 2,000 inch pounds of torque. The DeWalt adapter is made in China. The 951 inch pounds put up by the Makita Gold is going to be very hard to beat. And the DeWalt made 861 inch pounds, which isn't enough to take the lead, but that's enough to move into the second position. Very impressive. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $6.43 each is made by Bosch. The Bosch brand is impact rated. There's no indication on the packaging where the Bosch brand is made. Can the Bosch beat Makita's gold 951 inch pound performance? 894 inch pounds isn't enough to take the lead, but the Bosch does move into second place. Unlike the other brands, the Bosch didn't seem to twist too much, but rather disintegrated when it snapped. So the Makita Gold came out on top, Bosch 2nd, DeWalt 3rd, Timo 4th, and Torxmith 5th. What's very interesting is that the top 10 brands all use the solid hex shaft design, and the bottom 4 use the narrow round shock absorbent zone. This seems to make sense. More metal should equal more strength. The size of the round torque zones varied somewhat. However, I did the math, and the area of a quarter inch hexagon includes 23% more metal on average compared to the adapters with the round shaft design. So it makes sense that all the hexagon shaft adapters provide on average around 25% more strength. Impact tools deliver a sudden burst of energy instead of a slow steady twist like the first test. So in the next test, we'll see how the socket adapters handle impact. I'll start the test in low impact mode. Once the adapter stops making progress, I'll move on to the medium impact mode and finally the high impact mode. I built the next test rig in order to measure the tightening torque of impact tools. It's a pretty simple setup with two 20 ton hydraulic rams sandwiched between two thick pieces of steel. The tester will measure the clamp load. To help ensure accurate test results, I'll be using a premium synthetic grease throughout the test. Testing the Torque Smith. And the Torque Smith actually did very well, finally breaking at 1400 PSI. Testing the Hyper Tough. And the Hyper Tough gave up pretty quickly on this test at only 675 PSI. In fairness to this brand, the Hyper Tough is not rated for impact duty. Testing the Timo brand. 1400 PSI is the number to beat. And the Timo came very close to beating the Torx Smith at 1350, but that's not going to be enough. Testing the Nico. And the Nico, which is designed for impact use, did far better in this test than the last. 
The adapter tolerated the impact very well, taking the lead from the Torx Smith with a 1,675 PSI finish. The heart really struggled in the first round of competition. It is designed for impact duty, so it should do fairly well in this round of competition. And the heart brand snapped at only 400 PSI. Testing the Performax brand. 925 PSI with the Performax brand. So the Nico stays in the lead. The Ryobi really struggled in the first round of the competition. It is rated for impact duty, so maybe it'll do better in this round. And the Ryobi broke at only 375 PSI. Testing the Warrior brand. 1675 PSI is the number to beat. And the Warrior, which is not rated for impact duty, broke at only 700 PSI. Testing the Irwin. And the Irwin is designed for impact duty and broke at 925 PSI. The Irwin actually didn't twist much at all before breaking, while the Irwin tested in the first round did twist quite a bit. I could tell during the test that the long narrow shaft of the bar was really absorbing the impact and it took a long time to build pressure. It finally broke at 1,225 PSI, which is above average. The ARES did a decent job in round one at 760 inch pounds. And the ARES broke at only 675, which is below average. Just like the Irwin, the ARES did not twist before breaking. The Makita did a decent job at 1,050 PSI. The shock absorbent zone was the failure point once again for the Makita. The Hercules and Bauer are both sold at Harbor Freight, and the Hercules did slightly better than the Bauer in round one. Once again, the Hercules outperformed the Bauer at 1300 PSI compared to 1225 for the Bauer. The Milwaukee seemed to struggle a little bit in round one of the competition, and it also seemed to struggle in this round, only making 700 PSI before breaking. The Master Force did a decent job at 754 inch pounds in the first round of the competition. And the Master Force broke at only 850 PSI, which is slightly below average. The Makita Gold did by far the best in round one. It broke at 1,250 PSI. Unlike most of the other brands, the shaft didn't seem to twist too much before breaking. The Dewalt did extremely well in the first round of competition, but can it handle the impact as well as the Nico, which did an amazing 1,650 inch pounds. And the Dewalt seemed to be enjoying the test a little too much as the needle approached 2,000 PSI. Wow, and the Dewalt crushed this test, putting up the best number yet, finally breaking at 2,000 PSI. Very impressive. It all comes down to the Bosch, which actually beat the Dewalt in round one, but it was very close. The shorter shaft seems to be helping the Bosch deliver the torque. 1,875, very impressive finish by the Bosch, moving it into the second place. And the Dwalt came in first, Bosch second, Nico third, Torxsmith fourth, and Timo fifth. All of the five torque adapters have the hex shaft design without a shock absorbent zone. The Baron Hercules, which have the narrow round shock absorbent zone, actually seem to perform better in this round than the last. The shock absorbent zone on the short impact adapters doesn't seem to really help too much, it only seems to become the breaking point. However, on the longer drivers, such as the Bauer and the Hercules, it definitely seemed to help. DeWalt's not kidding when they say their adapter is impact ready. Very impressive performance, however it is pretty expensive. The Makita Gold also did very well, especially for non-impact use. If you're really looking for a low-priced budget item that can still hold up fairly well, the Torx Smith is hard to argue against because it's only $3 for the entire kit. All the videos on this channel are viewer recommended, so if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.